Hello from a very sunny Wolfsburg in Germany where we're driving the new Golf GTI. It's a car that's dividing a lot of opinion based on how it looks, but we're gonna take you through some of the features, show you what it looks like, and then we're gonna go for a drive in it. So what do you think? Tell us in the comments. Do you think this is the coolest Golf yet? Is it the one that you're waiting for? Let us know. There's quite a lot to take in with the new Golf GTI. So we're gonna run through the exterior then we'll show you what it's like inside and then we'll take it for a drive and you'll get an idea of what that is like. So let's start with the front of the Golf because since the eighth generation Golf came along, it hasn't been getting the easiest ride from fans, most notably because of the headlights. Um, it does have a much lower look to the front of it and those headlights haven't been, haven't been to everyone's taste, shall we say, but Personally speaking, I think they look fantastic in this setup here. So these are the matrix beam lights. These are the, what Volkswagen call the IQ light. And when you see here, if I go a little bit further down, the GTI still has that red band that runs right the way through. So it starts here. And it's also where the IQ light badge is. So uh, it starts here and then it runs all the way through. And you've got that red band runs all the way through and across obviously it's grilled but um, there's also this LED strip which is just kind of sits underneath it so you have this uh, solid beam of light that runs all the way across the whole front of the car looks really really impressive when you see one coming up behind you um, which we've done today it does look quite impressive when you see that now the other thing again it's been dividing opinion i think it looks really really good is just how wide and open this lower front grill is so you've got this big honeycomb grill runs all the way across these are the new fog lights they're led fog lights and they're not active at the moment i'll turn them on now and show you and as you can see when you look through it's all pretty much open in there as well you have this extra detailing around here which again just gives it a you know a bit more contrast because you have this black here you've got a black skirts and that runs along the sills as well there's also a gti badging here, which this is now the all the, the golfs have badging here and there's even this quite unusual little bit of an aero aid just here on the wheel arch as well um these are the 19 inch wheels on the Golf. It does come with 17s, 18s or 19s. So that will vary depending on exactly where in the world you are. But those are the wheel sizes that are available from the factory. It's a five door only now. So yes, the three door is no more. We saw that with the previous generation. It looks pretty good though. Uh, you've still got a very distinctive C pillar at the rear. You've got some other features as well. So Volkswagen now puts this uh, their their badge just there. It's subtle, but it looks the part. And uh, then we go around the rear. I'll show you the back of the car. You have this IQ light badging here for the LED lights on the rear, and there is two real exhausts on the back you'll be pleased to know now some people won't be as pleased to know the fact that this has a center badge on it and it's also got the new badge and the new um the new kind of font for the gti i don't know why people are so upset about this but people seem to get really upset about having the badge in the middle but yeah i think it's okay it doesn't really bother me that much yeah so you've got the same rear bumper as the regular golf but then the lower section so this black area where the exhausts are is unique to the gti and it kind of it's nice because you've got this black running all the way around the rear of the car let me show you some of the interior you've got a boot which is pretty much the exact same size as before so it's easy to get one or two travel cases in it's a decent enough size you've got 60 40 split folding rear seats uh, in there as well now let's have a look in the back there's pretty good space the so this is the driver's seat set up for my 
driving position and there is pretty reasonable amount of space in there and there is room with this to get your feet in underneath as well as ever with these cars a little bit compromised in the middle because of the transmission tunnel but it's i think even three adults will get in here at a bit of a push but it won't be too bad and you can pull down the center armrest there you've got cup holders and you can also open this up for your ski hatch so if you need to get anything longer in the boot you can do so there is two or there are two isofix points the outer seats get those as well and there's also you've got your top tether there as well for the front seat now let's have a look in the front because yes it's quite different now it's a much more digital display like we have already seen in the eighth generation golf and yes you do get those new sport seats with a new type of fabric material for the um for the golf tartan let me sit in and i'll show you just what it is like inside the new golf a couple of things to note first of all is there is a new steering wheel so it does look pretty smart weirdly and this may seem strange but so this is pretty much my uh, point of view the new logo you can't really see it <laughs> it's just a bit of an odd thing just the way that the if i move it here you can kind of see that it's just how it is it's kind of this um there you go it's a little bit better but in the normal light and just the way the light hits it and with the reflection with the roof you can't really see it and when you get in then you have your glowing start stop button here so you can fire that up and then you're you get a welcome to volkswagen and this is the gti uh, this car is set up with the with the larger two screen option this is the uh, 10 inch display and you get a 10.25 inch digital instrument display it's pretty clear um, you get specific golf uh, sort of design with this it looks really good I'll just start the engine there so really clear it's crisp you can then change the different views so this will I'll just run through some of the different views that you have you can do change these views via the steering wheel and um, so you can have your navigation up there if you want uh, and then you have you know, you're, you, this is if you're using the travel assist and then you have a speedo and then the back this is obviously the best looking one but yeah you can have that then just to run through so there's a new obviously with this new screen setup that's in the map view you've then got quite a bit that you can you can go through the different menu functions here the only thing i've sort of found so far is that it can be a little bit laggy sometimes just a few times i've gone in to kind of do different features or, or do uh, operate different functions and it's just been a little bit hesitant so like i'm sure volkswagen will continue to work on this and will probably continue to improve it so i don't think that would be a major issue long term but initially i just found that when i was driving the car and when I had the nav running and you know with, with a couple of things happening there were a few times where it got a little bit um, kind of I guess a, a bit laggy and um, so you can go through for example if you want to change the ESC um, which is something that you may do and um, there's no ESC button there's much far fewer buttons now inside so you would go into your menu you go into vehicle um, you then wait for this to happen you then scroll to round you go to brakes then you go into the ESC and then you have ESC Sport or um, activated. The ESC Sport is actually quite good. I've been using that quite a bit today. Um, so yeah, it's just some of those features are a little bit kind of, you know, I don't know. I just think it's not quite the most intuitive thing, especially for this being a driver's car. Um, I just would have expected it to be a little bit better i suppose um but yeah you can go through your for example with this you you know i know they want 
do the gesture control thing and um, but even the gesture control thing doesn't really seem to you know it just doesn't seem to really work all that well um so yeah that's uh may, look maybe it's just something that owners will get used to i just find it a little bit annoying uh you've got volume controls here so there's no knob anymore um that's not too bad because you, you can just sort of generally feel your way to the center there and, and and adjust it if you're on the move it's the same for the temperature settings here so if you want to uh, move them up or down you can do that and then you've got your heated seat functions here as well so there's those but you press those and then they come on and you i think you can kind of see where i'm going with this it's just a bit kind of i don't know a bit overly complicated if you ask me all right let's talk comfort for a moment because this is it's got to be a comfortable car right you're going to be driving this every day it's going to be your daily driver so you want to be able to live with it easily and yeah it is it very much hits that mark very very well these new uh, sports seats are quite good they hold you in place nicely they don't dig in anywhere you don't feel like oh i'm sitting in a race car you know they're fine in that respect um good amount of sport like the quality of them um, I like the GTI uh, fabric on it and this sort of more uh, Alcantara type of material on the sides is pretty good as well so that's good and um, the steering wheel is it's new steering wheel it's got uh, it's a bit chunkier it's a bit more sculpted and um, again that's kind of nice you've still got this GTI badge at the base and um, I'm not so sure about this capacitive button setup um, for the multifunction controls they maybe they just take a bit more getting used to I just find that uh, I'm not too keen on it um, just how they work um, it's good for certain things I guess like being able to slide the audio controls up or down um, but I just find it a little bit mm, could be better actually I just I'd rather have physical controls actually um it's just all this one button and it's there is a sort of a, a haptic feedback from it so as you scroll up and down you can feel it do certain things it gives you like a little pulse um i guess like what you'd have like on, on some smartphones but you i find that i have to look at it a bit more than i would if i just had a physical button that i can just sort of not take my eyes off the road so there is that um some people probably won't mind um, better things that you've got um, heated op uh, an option being the heated steering wheel look when it comes to heated steering wheels don't knock it until you've tried it because having done one or two winters with them they're very very nice better still is that this one has three settings so it's not just on or off and um, you can set it to three different uh, three different stages you still have uh, paddles here on the back of the steering wheel again they're the same as before they're a bit cheap and a bit plasticky i have to say i'm not so keen on those um like they work fine and the new um dsg shift by wire gearbox is according to volkswagen quicker in how it reacts um i think it's still pretty quick i don't think it feels any quicker um, but I just wish they did something more with these paddles because they're just not that nice to use. Even here on the Autobahn, the GTI feels very comfortable and very composed. It easily makes lane changes much more direct. The steering feels really sharp. And although we're in sport mode, you'll see we're slightly bobbing around a bit. For the most part, uh, it's actually a really comfortable ride. It handles everything really well soaks up all the bumps very well and also it just is much more refined there's obviously some engine noise on the go but it's there's no drone there's a little bit of wind noise from the mirrors but that's pretty much it so in that respect it's actually really spot on it's a much more refined machine than before now it doesn't have that same sudden urge that a golf 4 has when you put your foot down but the dsg uh, gearbox does actually work pretty quickly um, and the engine is reasonably responsive as well there's as i said there's not a great deal more power in the gti this time it's a 
effectively as it was and obviously now with uh, ongoing emission regulations and things like that there's not the same sort of uh, power increase so really what Volkswagen has done this time with the GTI is to focus more on honing that chassis so okay you're not going to have a great deal more power but we're going to make it better and easier to exploit that power and I guess keener driver is going to appreciate that but but initially a lot of people will just look down the spec list and see hmm horsepower hmm, it's not a great deal more than anything else so so what about launch control well yeah that's quick enough so does it still sound like a GTI Yep. And it does GSG farts too. So yeah, on the twisty stuff in sport mode, this is where the GTI really starts to come alive and you can start to feel where they've made those improvements. The chassis feels really well sorted on this car. So look, it's not gonna win the horsepower battles and it's not gonna be top of the table in that respect, but it's how it uses that and how it deploys that power that sets this apart and this is really where you start to see that they've done a top job with this car now the steering feels really spot on really nice point to point this remains a very very quick car um, through fast bends it is just it holds the line so well it's really really crisp in that respect um, it goes exactly where you want it. There's a good amount of feedback through the steering wheel. It doesn't feel very weighted. Sometimes when manufacturers are making cars like this, they can just go, okay, in sport mode, we're gonna make the steering really, really sort of heavier or artificially heavy to give you that sporty feeling. And half the time it just feels like you're just pushing against it or you're trying to stir a big wooden spoon through some treacle. It just doesn't necessarily mean Heavy steering means, oh, well, that makes it sporty. Um, this is just, I think they've really nailed this one. It just seems absolutely right. You've got, you know, through these bends, it's just exactly where you want it to be. The ride quality, actually, the, the one thing is about the ride quality and the spring rates and the damping settings is that actually when you start going faster, it actually settles down a little bit more. So it's definitely more set up towards being a car to be driven harder, if you know what I mean. Um, if you leave it in sport mode and you're just ambling around town at 35 kilometers an hour, it's just gonna feel a bit bouncy and a bit like, oh, okay, I don't really like this, I'll go back to comfort. But keep it in sport mode, get it out on a good road or on a track, and that's really where it starts to come into its own. You can start to appreciate how much that chassis development has come on. And I think that's, for me, one of the real standout features is just what they've done with this it just makes a real nice difference to the car so is Volkswagen onto a winner with this new eighth generation Golf GTI I'm gonna say yes because this car feels really really well sorted you've got to look past purely the spec sheets of the car you've got to look past that in terms of horsepower and all that because you'll think mm, I'll just get a Golf 7 trust me the amount of changes that they've made particularly with how the car rides and handles really sets this right at the sharp end of the hot hatch segment. It's still got loads of refinement. It's, it's such a polished car. As I said earlier, if you like driving, if you're a keen driver, I think you will appreciate this car much more than some of the other models that are out there. Anyway, that's been our first drive video review of the new 8th generation Volkswagen Golf GTI. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, we'd love to get your feedback in the comment section, so please do get involved. Tell us what you think about this car, and please do subscribe to the Complete Car YouTube channel. And when you do so, if you hit the notification bell, the next video we upload, you'll get a notification on your device. Thanks for watching.